medical policy. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, kids, uh, uh, the doctrine that you do believe, uh, see, you are going off of Biden and uh, their rich elites uh, that, in fact, they are wanting to hoard the world's resources. And that I want to make it clear that we have over 200 years of coal with our current technology just in America alone. And not, not alone that current technology, many, many, many other hundreds of years of coal. With that said, that if you do indeed hit a knee to this totalitarian government that wants to indoctrinate you, that in fact you have nine years left to live, uh, pretty much that's what the o AOC uh, cry was at first, that none of the Democrats went against, but in fact they tried to change the goalposts and say, well, if we don't do anything by nine years, then the fact it's the end of the world um, for man-made climate change, CO2 emissions. That's exactly what they said as far as that was the paradigm that they, they changed the goalpost. And I want to tell you, if you do subscribe to that, challenge your leaders. You have uh, what is uh, um, leaders like the, the Heinz guy, uh, you have him flying all over the world in a private jet. And he indeed has mansions all over that when in fact we look at it, homes are the highest CO2 emitter on the planet. And in fact, these rich leaders that would espouse to us that that uh, the world's going to end unless we, do, unless we give rich men extreme power over our lives unless we give rich men tons of hard-earned tax money to go to their pet projects and their organizations that in fact don't do anything hardly anything or no anything to cut co2 admissions all it's about is having power over industry and having again power over our personal lives now john Kerry can sell all of his mansions, John Kerry can get an 800 fair, uh, foot square house, 800 foot, 800 square foot house, and him and his family live in it. And he, if he has a meeting somewhere over the uh, over the over the pond or something, well, there's Zoom. He can Zoom somebody, have a meeting in his 800 square foot home. And not many homes because he subscribes again to man made climate change. He believes that. So, what he should do is raise up all of his fans, all, all the fans that love John Kerry, all the children that's been indoctrinated in these globalist, socialist school systems. Well, what we should do is take out technology. Why are you plugging up? Why are you plugging your. Your uh, your 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 uh, phones, your iPhones, your iPads. Why are you watching TV? Why indeed are you playing PlayStation? If you want to save the planet and save resources, you got to think it. Even if we were all renewable energy, it takes a giant grants, lots of grants to pay for, in fact, renewable energy, which is not reliable. Which is not reliable. California is a clear example. That if we do indeed go off renewable energy, then in fact, uh, they will fail us. What do we do when the sun doesn't shine? What do we do when snow covers solar panels? What do we do when the wind doesn't blow? What do we do when the uh, rain freezes a, a windmill? What do we do? It's unreliable energy. And it doesn't create the energy that in fact a coal plant does indeed create far less far less it's un so it's unreliable and it doesn't produce the energy that we indeed need and it's expensive it's very expensive so i tell you why aren't you guys if you really believe in man-made climate change why aren't your leaders teaching you to live without electricity why are they encouraging 
uh, big blocks of their followers to go to Amish farms and to learn off to learn uh, to live off the land. If you guys do indeed believe it, I don't. I absolutely know it's pseudoscience. It's only a way to ever entrap and enslave a, a globalist government, a global, the global citizen. It's only a way them to enslave the globe, the globe citizens. Why the leaders like a John Kerry and Obama and Biden have mansions everywhere and they enjoy their private jets flying wherever they want and their vacations anywhere. It's just a ploy to win power over industry and people's personal lives. You look at California, they have the rolling blackouts. If you indeed like uh, their promised land, let me tell you right away, it's uh, it's a mirage. You're going to find out if you follow them that in fact you're in a desert and you're going to a mirage only to drink the sand, saddened that you're so damn thirsty.